of 180 days. CIA Governor Jem Sorengo has called on Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa to adopt reconciliatory language that would unite Kenyans in his political speeches. Now, Rengo expressed disappointment that some political leaders, especially those in the Kenya Kwanzaa, were spewing vitriol and abuse and abated, hence raising political temperatures in the country. Now, speaking in Usonga word, after launching the construction of several development projects in the area, Governor Rengo said it was time that Kenya Kwanzaa leaders stopped lamenting of alleged dry coffers and get on with the job to bring down the cost of living. Orengo said that the measures taken by Azimio Laumoja leader Raila Odinga to go back to the people was in order and a reminder that Kenyans cannot be taken for a ride on serious national issues. Support the Azimio movement. We support the position taken by Azimio. We want dialogue to be advanced and promoted but within a, fr a framework that is structured and meaningful we don't want a process that is dead before it begins so there must be those assurances that kenya kwanzaa is serious one kenya kwanzaa must show good faith by encouraging their leaders to talk in a language that can bring an enabling environment, not a toxic environment, in the discussions and conversations that we're going to have in order to bring the desired changes arising out of the complaints that arose out of the elections of 2022. I ask the Deputy President so to speak if he is one, to adopt a reconciliatory language. Because how can somebody who pretends to be the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya say that Kenya has shareholders? Everybody born in Kenya, the moment you're born, wherever, you're a, you're a shareholder. By birthright. Not because you voted for as a meal. Because voting is a political choice under uh, uh, the Bill of Rights.